Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Well, many of you have asked me, how is Windows 7 compared to Windows Vista? Well, let's find out. Let's run some benchmarks and see. I have a new system here, dual boot, exactly everything identical. Let's see how long it takes to do things and how much system resources uh, Windows 7 takes. Now, starting with the boot up, since I have a dual boot, I have a menu screen, obviously, to choose between Windows 7 and Windows Vista. If I select Windows Vista and hit enter, it takes about 29 seconds for Vista to load to get to the login screen. If I do the same thing for Windows 7, 17 seconds to load, so it's obviously faster. Now logging in, if I type in my password, log in, and I uh, wait for the hourglass to finish, it's 7 seconds only on Windows 7 compared to the 15 seconds on Vista, so that's pretty good. Now, let's run some more benchmarks. PC Mark Vantage is saying you get a total score of 6358 PC Marks on Windows Vista. Okay, so keep that in mind. And I'm going to show you here the same, same uh, results uh, from Windows 7. Now, do you think Windows 7 did better? Well, of course it did better. Windows 7 gave 8,334 PC Marks right there. You can tell that productivity suite, the communication suite, that's where it really did better. Gaming suite did about the same. Hard drive test suite did about the same. Not too much of a difference there. But overall, higher score. Okay, so obviously there's another win for uh, Windows 7. Let's look at the read test suite from Everest. I ran a different benchmark tool, and uh, basically it's saying about the same. I ran it both, same version of these uh, tools on both operating systems and look at the results very very close between Windows 7 and Windows Vista can't notice much of a difference there but what about the cache memory benchmarks the way it reads the level 1 level 2 cache of your CPU and stuff like that well again if I look at all of these results from Everest and go through every value here that it gave me and then compare it to Windows 7 I basically got very very close results and here's the Windows 7 results it's basically the same. Obviously, Windows 7 was a little bit higher, but it, the way that it's obviously using the, the and, and handling the cache is about the same. 3D Mark Vantage, though, working with the GPU. Okay, I've got dual Crossfire cards going on here. This is the Vista score, 16228. You can see there the frames per second, 49, 54 uh, frames per second. How did Windows 7 do? Well. A little bit higher score here, but what does this translate to, the higher scores? Very, very small. Only 2 to 3 frames per second max for using Windows 7 as opposed to Windows Vista. So, same same uh, drivers, same uh, uh, video drivers, just so you know. Now, using here the memory usage. How much memory is Vista using right now on idle? I'm not doing anything on the machine. All I'm doing is recording the screen. So, how much memory is... Windows Vista using compared to Windows 7, right? And how much processing power uh, is it using up for basically doing not much? Well, let me tell you that on Windows Vista, it's using about 29% of my total memory. So I'm using 4 gigs of memory. That's how much I've got installed, 4 gigs. Well, it's using 29% of that, okay, in Windows Vista for just recording the screen. It's basically idle. It's not doing much right so in Windows 7 though it's 19 20 percent you can see the the memory value here at the bottom that's the usage so of my four gigs it's using about 18 19 20 it's hovering around 20 percent so that's 10 percent less memory that Windows 7 is using okay for doing the exact same thing that I that I did on Vista so that's pretty darn good okay so they've obviously improved it right there and if we break down the memory here a little bit further let me go to the tab here at the top in Windows 7 to show you you can see here how much is actually being used so 800 megs of my 4 gigs so 3 3 um, 3.2 gigs available and it's using about um, less than a gig uh, already for just sitting idle and, and me recording the screen so that gives you a good idea on how much memory you need obviously for Windows 7 more than one gig obviously so you need at least two gigs if you want to run this safely but there you go that gives you a good idea on the comparison between both Vista and 7 and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching